Wow. What a freaking entrance to the video, huh? Welcome back, Scott Spiders slash Guardians to the Scott Spot. I'm your host, Scott, and you're at the Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I think I got that mixed up somehow. But yeah, so yeah, that was an awesome entrance. By the way, did you notice that Lulu wasn't in that grinding in the rails cutscene? Alright, so basically we have to fire our way to right Seymour and Yuna. Seymour. Oh man, Waka's, or Titus is pissed about this. Okay, I don't know why I did that, because normally what you would want to do here is, um... Ooh, wow. I should, well, I don't know how much guild these guys have or what. 109. Not much, huh? Also, I think they actually went through the trouble of redoing Unit and Seymour's uh, character models for this scene, which is kind of surprising, honestly, uh, considering that uh, this is such... I mean, they're not in these garbs long, obviously. Alright, so try to kill the red warrior monks whenever you're fighting these guys, because obviously... Um, make sure everybody gets a turn here. Um, wow, he's hurting. I need to use a outbid potion here. Come on, Riku. Uh, what I was going to say is that obviously the red ones use um, flamethrowers, which hurts your whole party for a decently significant amount of damage. Alright, everybody's healed. Yeah, you aim your bayonet rifle thing. Did Lulu get to go? More importantly, did Titus get to go? I'm not sure, so let's bring Titus out to defend just in case, and we'll let Lulu finish this guy off. By the way, gotta love the assault music that's playing right now, huh? I think it, I usually associate it with an airship assault, which makes sense. Also, kind of surprising that they rendered an FMV model for uh, Keenock and Seymour there, huh? Alright, everybody's getting some sphere levels here. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't notice, we got two black magic spheres from defeating Evray in the last uh, battle. But let's just skip this one. Oh, wait, can't skip this. Uh, Alright, Titus, you take out the flamethrower guy. Oh, you need to watch out for those, uh, Ma by the way, what are the uh, Yevonites doing with a mock and a mint for attacking? I sense uh, something afoot here. So, you do need to watch out for um, the YKT-63 guys, because um, they actually have an ability called Thrust Kick, which completely removes um, one of your... Uh, allies from battle, and you can't bring in somebody else, so it's basically you're taking down the two characters. Alright, Orin, uh, take out the other one. Alright, I'm gonna bring Waka and Kamari in just to get some experience. Actually, I think we could probably go, uh, risk attacking this thing, but I don't know how much gill they have. 760, sweet lord. And this is the thrust kick I was talking about. Oh, and before I forget, uh, Mari can actually learn a Ronso Rage from these guys. Guess which one it is. Thrust Kick. It actually completely removes an enemy from battle. But we'll have to wait till next time to use it. Alright, uh, Lulu, come on in and finish the battle. Hopefully she has the capability. I don't know if she can finish this thing in one spell or not. I'm not sure if I've attacked it yet. Oh, it only did... It did exactly 2,000 damage. That's pretty strange, huh? Alright, well, we'll bring, uh... Mm, Orin's probably a little bit stronger than Titus, but I'm not... Probably not that much. I don't know how much stronger he is now. But unfortunately, uh, Kamari and, uh... I think it was Waka that got kicked out. Won't get any experience for that one. Uh, yep, I was right. Alright. So, uh, I meant to mention before we started battling here that it's probably a good idea to switch everyone that has the um, Slayer Overdrive mode equipped uh, to Comrade if they don't have Slayer. So let's see, uh, er, Waka's on Warrior, Kamari's on Warrior, Comrade, okay yeah that makes sense. Um, yeah, so let's keep moving forward. I don't know if there will be any new enemies in this battle or not. Nope, so let's skip it. These warrior monks are cake. I don't even know why we're bothering at this point, really. Oh, these guys are annoying. What if, can I fight these guys? <laughs> these guys just don't even care that I'm over here. Alright, we're getting down to the staircase now. Oh, but we do have a new enemy here. This one is the YAT-99. And I think as long as it's in the back row, only, uh, you can only hit it with long distance attacks. Let's test that. Yep, I was right. 
Alright, so while Cletus is out here, let's take care of this guy. And, um, Tamari, why don't you go ahead and test out that thrust kick, uh, Ronzo Rage. I'm tempted to save it for when we might actually need it, but, oh well. Okay, so if an enemy can't be removed from battle, it just does damage to him. I'll have to test that again some point on an enemy that can be removed from battle. I suspect because we're in this particular sequence, it's not actually doing anything. Alright, so I'll go ahead and finish this guy off. Looks like that inflicted poison too. And once you defeat the front row, you can advance on the back. And these guys are sh oh shit. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't expect that to happen. Alright, uh, Lou, come out and heal, girl. Or not heal, but Phoenix down. Wow, we only have 18. I thought we would have had more than that, actually. And Kamari's back. So let's uh, have Riku come and see uh, how much skill can be pilfered from these guys. Go for Gil. Oh, wow, 825. Sweet Jesus. I don't think Waka's gone yet. Take that. Oh, is it going to kill it? Wow. I keep overestimating how weak these enemies are versus how strong we are. Alright, how many more of these do we have? Oh, we're getting up to three spear levels now. Got some Phoenix Downs out of that too. Oh, but that seems to be it. Alright, enjoy the cutscenes, guys. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the game. This has gone far enough! Stop. You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. <laughs> Stop! Do you not value your friends' lives? Your actions determine their fate. Protect them, or throw them away. The choice is yours. Sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are exceptions. No! 
Throw down your weapons. Let them go. Or else. Leave now, please. You're coming with us! Don't worry, go! This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> Don't worry. I can fly. Believe. I forgot she could do that. Cover your eyes! What? What was that? An all bed flash bomb! Let me go! I'm gonna kill that Seymour! Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Break through! Ah! Ah! Well, that was Where'd Yuna way go? The Bell Palace is temple. Yuna goes to one place only. The Chamber of the Faith! Anyone else find it strange that there was a safe sphere in that cutscene? <laughs> you can never go there. It's too quiet. A trap? Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us! Huh? What's a Machina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I mean! The teachings! What about the teachings? Hey! Don't look at me! Wow, so what a series of events, huh? <laughs> I like the part, uh, what was Yuna planning to do anyway? I guess if her guardians hadn't been there, she had been, no one would have stopped her. But there were all those monks right there. Can I even go that way? Yeah, so now I'm really wondering why there was a safe sphere back there. Uh, but anyway, before I descend further, in, well, is there going to be a safe sphere coming up? Uh, I'm going to have to get to a safe sphere here. Uh, so let's go ahead and head down, I guess. Oh boy, I'm glad it didn't make us watch all of that. Another Machina? Man. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. <sighs> they treated us like dirt. Maybe that's how they view you. What does this thing do? Can't examine it, huh? Alright, so, yeah, let's keep moving forward. Man, but I love that wedding sequence. Anything up here? Oh, there's a safe sphere up there, just what I was looking for. The entrance to the trials. I wonder if Uni's really in there. Let's go and see! 
Let's go. Let's see, you got anything to say, Kamari? I'll talk to you just in case for affection. I don't know if there's actually any inf infection, infection, affection involved there. But don't f miss this Albed Primer Volume 22 here. It, uh, J equals V. And Titus achieved the rank of Albed Metanide, which I believe translates to literati. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, that might be one of the missable ones. There are a few that you, if you miss, you can't get them again. But let's go ahead and save and call it an episode, Guardians. Um, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button if you liked what you saw. And please follow me on Twitter at the Scott Spot. Uh, next episode, we will um, freaking do the Bavel Cloister of Trials, which is probably the most difficult one overall, especially if you don't know what you're doing, really. Uh, but yeah, wasn't the wedding scene cool? My favorite part was this.